Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, so today's video is a comparison of two of the popular iris fragrance in the fragrance community. One is very old fragrance. Uh, yeah, not that old, but it got released in 2011 and it's a masterpiece fragrance from Dior created by Fragwise de Mac. It's the famous Dior Home Intense. And this is my all time favorite fragrance. Like, uh, if, if I make a list of 10 fragrance for life, Dior Home Intense will be in the list. It's an amazing iris fragrance. I fell in love with this fragrance upon the initial uh, smell. And this is my all time favorite fragrance. So I'll be comparing Dior Home Intense with a similar fragrance that got released in 2022. And that is Gentleman Jivanchi Reserve Privé. So, battle of the two best iris fragrances. And many people were saying that Reserve Privé is like almost a copy of Dior Home Intense, which I don't agree at all. Of course, they have similarities. They are both iris based sweet fragrances. Uh, so first, let me talk about the Dior Home Intense. So this was released in 2011 uh, and created by the master perfumer Frank Westimaki. It's a very sweet iris fragrance, a very metrosex, uh, metrosexual man fragrance. So people who uh, don't like the note of iris, like iris is a very lipsticky kind of note. So some people uh, may not like the iris note. Because I see that uh, the opinion is divided on this fragrance. Some people really love this fragrance and some people don't like this fragrance. For me, this is an absolute low love. For people who love this fragrance, they will rave about this fragrance so much. That's the effect this fragrance has. And uh, this bottle, I don't know if you can see the batch code. This is a 2013 or 2014 batch so this is an old formulation um, so i was lucky enough to get this uh, this is a 150 ml bottle i scored a partial i think it was from perfumery project perfumery and uh, i use it very sparingly because i fear that it will i will run out of the of the juice and the current formulations of your home intense are not uh, strong uh, they have been watered down so much um, the scent wise, this is more fuller and thicker version, but the recent formulations are not thicker. And um, so that's it about your home intense and price wise, you know that your pricing is well over $100, maybe in the 130, 140 range. And maybe you can find it at discounters in like maybe $100. My all time favorite fragrance, your home intense. Next is our Reserve Privé from the Givenchy line and this fragrance got released in 2022 and the perfumers are Nathalie Lawson and Olivier Crisp. You know Nathalie Lawson has made many fragrances in Lelique, I think Ankara, Ankara Noir she has created, there are many other fragrances, she's a great perfumer, Olivier Crisp also, no need to say, say anything. And this fragrance I get more chocolate notes, cacao, chocolate woody notes than your home intense. I'll just spread your reserve privé in my left hand. I'll spray your home intense on my right hand. Wow. much of alcohol okay so the main difference I can get in the opening this is more chocolate heavy and there is chestnut as one of the main notes mentioned in Reserve Privé where this is more lavender and iris combination I don't get much chocolate or chocolate note in this one and uh, one more difference is Reserve Privé is a bit boozy. It has a prominent whiskey note. Whereas the Oham Intense is not a whiskey. There is no whiskey note. It's a very smooth 
very sensual actually to be honest smell wise i prefer dio home intense this is also very nice i would suggest uh, if you can get an older formulation uh, i don't know how much it is possible so dio home intense is best in its older formulation current formulation is uh, watered down a bit but you can get the same feel wow this is also amazing if you prefer more chocolatey iris fragrance i would suggest resoprive and if you want the masterpiece fragrance dio home intense and you know dio home intense is the most popular men's fragrance and it is rated very highly in fragrantica resoprive is also loved very much by the um, current frag heads so these are two top notch quality iris designer fragrances and coming to the performance uh, i get bit more performance from the older batch than the recent batches i had tested the samples this lasts like 8 hours easy with good projection for at least 2 hours and the performance on reserve prevail is not that great although it's an edp concentration it lasts for a good 6 to 7 hours with good project uh, projection is moderate out, i would say not a screamer but you will uh, feel the scent cloud for uh, the entire duration of this perfume nice chocolatey iris perfume that's reserve prevail with a boozy note look at this bottle nice has that uh, brown and black combination so uh, there are other flankers as well in the jivanchi uh, line you must be knowing the original then edp is the redp reserve prevails there and recently one fragrance has released in the same line called jiva gentleman society i haven't tried that fragrance so if you are in the market for a good iris fragrance i would say you should test both both are amazing i am um, i have been using dio home intense for quite a while so this is a masterpiece for me reserve prive if you are looking for a good iris chocolate fragrance in the current times i would suggest reserve prive both are great you won't go wrong if you select either but only things you have to consider is the reformulation with dior home intense and price wise there is not much difference uh, for both fragrances this is expensive yeah because i think the 100 ml goes for like 124 dollars i guess retail yeah if they had reduced the price maybe this will sell more because for 100 plus dollars you can get a dior fragrance so it's your call on which fragrance you should go for performance is like almost similar if you take the current dior home batches a reserve prive is uh, better performer than the recent dio home intense batches but since this is an old batch uh, this performs almost no better than the reserve prive the so both solid iris fragrances and this is also growing to be my uh, one of the favorite iris fragrances that chocolatey iris note this is perfect for the winter season i i would say dio home intense you can wear even in summer as well but this one because of the chestnut uh, whiskey notes i would say this works best for the winter season whereas dio home intense i will wear for even for summer if i feel like wearing i will go to dio home intense i will wear dio home intense i uh, some reviewers say that, like this is more uh, denser or deeper but i feel reserve prive is the more denser version of the two that's my feeling so only this one has the added chocolatey cacao note Ch- cacao uh, you get that bit of bitterness from the cacao note and the chestnut that nuttiness from the chestnut note mixed with that beautiful lipstick note of the iris and the whiskey note this is also an amazing creation no doubt on that it will b- work perfectly for date date nights as well as it's not a huge projector uh, but you get the nice sun bubble it's an amazing iris fragrance for date nights dio home intense is a masterpiece uh for date nights uh but it's a uh, like it got released in 2011 and this is a new fragrance got released in 2022 20, 
so these are my opinion on both fragrances you can test both and buy whatever you like but being an old fragrance and uh, the status dior has uh, or dior home intense has in the frag game this will be my all time favorite iris fragrance and i'm using it very sparingly i think uh, maybe uh, around 60 to 70 ml is left from that old you can see the juice color it's very dark the current versions are lighter in color so that's it guys i just wanted to give my two cents on both these amazing iris fragrances so i'll be back with another fragrance video have a nice day thank you